How about now? Can everybody hear me? Is there any sound coming out? All right, this is not good. Okay, you can hear me now. Okay, I apologize for this. I was hoping these headphones would work. Um, Jennifer, try refreshing your screen. Okay, good. I think it's working now. Let me go ahead and uh, save these settings. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, and get started. My name is Sandra Gonzalez, and I'm the instructor for the online course for all of phase one. Um, just a little bit about me. I was an Army nurse. Um, I've been a military spouse for, for many years, and I'm also a home educator. Um, when it came time for my husband to retire from the Army, I, um, I actually had a lot of troubles finding a job, which is really strange, you know, as a military spouse and as somebody who has a graduate degree. So I looked at entrepreneurship as a way to, uh, to provide an income for my family and to really have a lot of flexibility. So thanks to programs like I, IVMF, um, such as the one that you're going through, I was a graduate of EBVF, um, BYs, as well as Boots to Business. I was able to take my idea, launch it, start my company, as well as earn seed funding. So I hope to see a lot of success stories come from this class, and I'm really looking forward to working with everyone. It's also great to see a lot of familiar faces from the last VWISE class. So you're going to enjoy this just as much as VWISE, and you're going to actually um, develop closer relationships because you'll be together for a week-long intensive boot camp. And they're not kidding. It really was a boot camp, and it was, it was a, a great experience and a lot of fun. So today we're going to cover a lot of things. I'm going to share my screen with you. We're going to go through Moodle. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? It's not Moodle anymore. We've used Moodle for almost four years. Now it's Blackboard. So if you see any references to Moodle, just keep thinking Blackboard, all right? OK, let me uh, share my screen with you. We're going to go through the online classroom and um, as well as the homework assignments and everything else. All right, let me pull up the orientation agenda. Okay, th these are some of the most frequently asked questions. So I just went ahead and put it into this sheet. Okay, so you don't have to watch an hour long video just to find the answer to one question. So every single day of the course for the next three weeks, you are gonna get an email reminder from me, all right? So if for some reason you should have to um, drop out of the course, please let me know so that I can take you off of that distro list, all right? Otherwise, you'll keep hearing from me until the course ends in three weeks. Okay, the other thing I wanna talk about are the assignment due dates. Um, for the most part, it's, it's pretty much self-explanatory. Everything's mandatory and you do have to, they do track the, um, your submissions for all of the homework assignments. They are normally due by mid midnight Eastern Standard Time of the day that they are assigned. And let me show you really quick. Let me see if it's on here. Okay. I did activate the calendar on Blackboard. Okay, so this is a quick um, introduction. When you click on your, if you click on your name, you, I'll show you later how to upload your photo. There is a calendar feature on the global settings and here it is right here. And then you'll be able to see the due dates for each of the assignments. Okay. I'm slowing down because there is a lag between my live stream and what you are seeing on, on YouTube. Okay, so once you're on the calendar, you'll see all of the, all of the, um, the due dates for each of the different assignments. If you're seeing duplicate entries, just ignore them. I'm fixing the classroom to make it a little more user friendly. All right, we've been using Moodle for quite a few years. And um, so now there's a little bit of a learning curve trying to get everything set up so that it's easy for all of you to use. You should only see EBV Syracuse right here, and so everything will be in blue. But if you are, um, if you're more of a visual, big picture person, the, the calendar is probably the easiest way to to organize all of your um, all of your assignments. If you click on this little link down here for the iCalendar, 
then you can get the code, copy it, and then import it into whatever calendar you're using, like Outlook or, or Gmail or whatever else. Okay, so let me go back to the agenda really quick. All right, so that's what you can expect over the next three weeks, the daily email reminders, as well as um, just reminders about all of the assignments that you have to turn in. Okay, the syllabus you did receive online. Okay, here it is right here. Um, it, it is helpful to print it out if you can. No worries if you know, you're real techy and you don't need to. But just, um, just as a general reminder, if you see any reference to Moodle, just cross it out and put Blackboard. But the syllabus is very self-explanatory. The objectives of this course, again, it's not an academic. It's really designed to help you work through your business concept or your venture and to help you become adaptable and reflective thinkers. It's kind of hard to, to be an entre entrepreneur and not be a lifelong learner. So that's the purpose of this course is to meet you where you're at and to help you um, create whatever strategy it is to help you move forward, okay? All right, so if you ever lose the digital files, they, they're all right here. These are all the updated files for the new business road tests, as well as the introduction to business ownership and the nuts and bolts guide. So if you ever lose them, go back to your syllabus and download them from here because some of the links on Blackboard are not current. You'll see older versions of all of these texts, okay? And then as we move forward in the assignments, many of the links are right here under other resources, such as for your NAICS code. And I will explain that more as we go on throughout the week. And then again, next week and the following week during office hours, if you need more help trying to figure out what your NAICS code is. Um, here are some great resources for you. And I would highly recommend that you bookmark them. Let me pull up my, um, my pen again. So the IVMF resource library, that is free. It has information about many topics related to entrepreneurship and it's right here. Oops, anyway, here's the, here are the two things that you will need access to during, during your time, um, during phase one, as well as at, at the actual boot camp. So the, live, the um, IVMF library link is right here. And then the research guide, library for all the, um, the important information that you need is also here as well. So as far as the website goes, just ignore Moodle. Moodle is gone, okay? So Blackboard's a little bit easier to use. And there is an app, um, you know what? There is an app. I don't think that they're using it for Blackboard, uh, but you can still access it on a tablet or a mobile device, okay? All right, so if you have any trouble logging into Blackboard, I'm going to go over that here before I forget. Then make sure you reach out to Jim Powers, and here is his email, and that should have also been sent out to you as well. Okay, ivmfhelp at syracuse.edu, syr.edu. Um, all right, it's almost easier to talk about this on the actual website. So let's go back to Blackboard real quick, and then I want to show you how to log in. Um, great job to those of you who have already logged in. So I'm really pleased to see the level of participation in this course. When you get to this homepage, make sure you click on the bottom box, other Blackboard user. Because you are not Syracuse students, we will not use this top one. Just use the bottom um, button. Okay, once, you, once you've clicked on it, uh, and most of you have already done this, then you type in the username that you were given as well as the password, okay? And this is usually your email, whatever you registered with, as well as the password that was sent out. If for some reason, once you log in, once you click this button and it brings you back to this screen, you're gonna need to clear your, um, your browsing history. So I'm using Firefox. You can tell there's a little fox up here. If you just click on these little books, you can clear your history I hope you can see this. It's kind of small um, down here. It's the third. It's the third button, and then you just click um, click the the arrow, and then clear recent history. Okay, and then once you've done that, if you close this out and open a new tab, it will eventually eventually let you log into the course. All right, so that's how you log into Blackboard. So once you're in Blackboard, okay, it'll bring you back to. Um, I'm just going to bring you back to the home screen. Okay, this is the global page, but um, I think one of the first things for most of you, 
what you need to do is just click on your name and this is where you're going to update your profile and this is on the um the ebv the the guide for using blackboard so if you click on here and then for if you haven't done this it'll just be a blank picture click on the face and then it's going to bring up your profile so most of you have already done this so that's great uh, and this is where you can um add all sorts of information about yourself so that we can connect with you wh wherever your social media platforms whatever is set up like linkedin then um, your classmates should be able to follow you if you have Facebook pages set up and Instagram and everything else. But I do want to encourage you, even if you don't have a LinkedIn profile, go ahead and start one so we can all connect online. All right. Because for those of you in the contracting world, this is how you will get some of your business. Just people scoping out your LinkedIn profile and seeing if you all know the same people. You, we all do this. You know, you know, we all do this. So it's important to have this LinkedIn profile. Once you're here, I forgot how I even uploaded my photo somewhere on here. If you just click on the buttons, I want to say it's right here. It it will walk you through it, and then you can you can change your picture, add some information about yourself, and then put whatever important information you want us to know in your profile. Okay. All right. So for those of you who who were just in the um, IBM uh, VWISE class, it's the same it's the same process. All right, good. It's good to see so many of you online. This is wonderful. Okay, so once you've done that, you should only see EBV Syracuse. You'll click on that to access the course. There's so many different ways to get to the online course. Okay, it'll be under the announcements. It'll be under My Courses Plus. If you go, go back up here to wherever your name is at, okay, you can access the course this way too. All right, the other thing I wanted to mention, um, I want to say it's under settings. This is where you can uh, you can edit more information about yourself, all right? I want to say it's under personal inf information. I think we just went through this, but I also want to talk about, okay, so here's where you can edit your personal information as well, as well as other settings. So this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, if you've never been, if you've never participated in an online class and if you're struggling, I, please reach out to me as soon as possible so I can help you with this. I don't mind doing this at all, okay? It's under settings that I wanna um, talk about. Let me see if it's showing up. Okay, let me see, it's not working. This is where you can, you can adjust the notifications for the course. Okay, so I'm just gonna wait for it to come up. All right. Um, Somewhere under here, and I want to say it's under the discussion boards. This is where you can you can adjust what kind of settings that uh, the notifications that you're receiving. Oh wow! Okay, good job, good job in the discussion forums. I think it's directly under the forums, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. Okay, here it is. If you go to these forums, I'm going to wait for it to show up on your screen. This is where you can see all of them all at once. So I clicked on that link that you are now seeing, but there's also these blue buttons on the side. You won't see as many as I have. Okay, some of them are grayed out, but if you click on discussions, it'll bring you to the same page. This is where you can, um, you can see everything all at once and see also how many unread posts you have, as well as replies to you personally, okay? I'm going to go through this here in just a little bit. Um, there's a way to adjust the settings on here. Okay, you might, you're not going to have this feature, but if you go directly to the forum itself, you can subscribe to each individual thread. Okay. All right, so here it is. Let's see how we do this. Um, okay, so if you just click, if you want to, I set it so that you can subscribe to an individual thread instead of the entire forum. Otherwise, you will get a bunch of emails and you won't be able to, it'll clog up your inbox, okay? So if you just select the threads that you wanna to subscribe to, and then if you go to the, the drop down arrow, then you can subscribe to the individual forums, okay? So that's one way to do it. This, this shows everybody's forum um, discussions. Or if you go specifically and look at the post itself, 
you can you can subscribe that way as well. All right. Okay. Yeah, somewhere on here it will it will allow you to subscribe. Um, while we're on here, let me go ahead and talk about creating a discussion. Okay, so we've talked about how to get to the discussion forums and that there's different ways to do that. You can either go back up to your name or once you're in the course, there's a blue button on the side and then you click on it. Let me go back. And then if you click on these hyperlinks, they're called breadcrumbs, it'll bring you back to the forum or the content page that you wanna visit. Um, once you're here, this is very good. Everybody's um, starting to, to create their discussions. What you need to do to create your own posts is just click on create thread. It's right here to the left. And there's, if you can't see these buttons, there's different ways to, um, to change the colors and it's right here, okay? You should be able to see that on your screen. And if not, you can ask Jim how to do it. But once you've selected create a thread and make sure you do create your own posts for your discussion and not just reply to someone else's post. I hope that makes sense. It's the only way I can give you credit for it. Plus it makes it easier for everyone to find you. Then you can type in your subject and then type in your post here. If you wanna add attachments, show pictures, that would be great. You can upload them from either button. And then when you're ready to submit, you just click submit or down here at the bottom, there's also a button that allows you to save your draft, okay? So that's just a quick down and dirty of how to create a thread. And this, the process is, is the same for each of the different discussion boards. Okay, there, there was a question that came up in the Ask the Expert forum and that those questions are directly for, for me. Okay, I'm the only one who's gonna answer those. And it asked where all the assignments are. Okay, so the discussions, all of them are already on here. So you can work ahead on those. But as far as the regular um, assignments, what you'll see is that each day, and what I did was just click under announcements because you'll see all of, all of the daily assignments posted as each day comes up, okay? So today, day one was posted for the first day, and then it gives you your homework assignments here. The only thing for today to turn, turn in was the discussion forum, but each day, then you will see the new announcement posted after midnight. Okay, so late tonight, this new disc, um, this new assignment for day two will show up very late tonight, all right? Okay, I'm showing it to you because you're not gonna see it on your screen until either midnight tonight or very early tomorrow, okay? If you click on these links, and I do wanna mention this before I forget, like this one will bring, bring up an older edition of the Mullins um, PDF. So make sure you don't use this one. Okay, and I'm going to show you the correct one. Okay, the, the link that they sent you for the fifth edition, it looks like this. Make sure you are using the fifth edition of the new business road test. Okay, so at some point, we're going to fix the hyperlinks on Blackboard. But for now, just use, okay, just use the links that we sent you. That was part of the uh, that was part of this syllabus. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Okay, this is the third edition. You don't want the third edition. Use the fifth edition, which is part of the PDF. Hopefully, you've all received um, the hard copies by now. For those of you who've ordered it, I'm not exactly sure how that works. Okay, that's a question for Deanna. But I just wanted to point out the difference because you're going to be uh, you're going to see different page numbers for the newest version, okay? So don't use the third edition, make sure you are using the fifth edition for the Mullins. Okay, I'm gonna give it a few, uh, a few minutes to catch up. If there are any questions, if you have any questions about what I've covered so far, go ahead and type them into the chat room. Okay, all right, good. How are you all doing so far? Do you have any questions about anything that's been covered? Okay, your your calendar shows calendar shows different items than yours. The other items do. Okay, good question, Tad. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up that calendar again. Let me move back and pull up to the top. 
Okay, so just as a quick review to get to the calendar, it's under the global settings. So if you click on your name at the top on the right hand corner, um, the calendar is right here above the smiley face. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. Some of the items that were on my calendar have not been released to, to you yet, I, because probably because that day hasn't been released. Yes. Okay, so Tad, you answered your own question. Yes, they don't populate until the day of. So I think that's what's going on. Um, just so just so you know how this works, if you put your cursor where it says EBV Syracuse 2019, if you click on that calendar, it's down in the corner, then you can change the color. So mine are blue. I click I use blue. Hopefully you can see this. And then once you click on the box. It just disappeared because I clicked on it. That's how you change the color. So mine, mine are in blue. You can change it to whatever color that you like. All right. And some of these are duplicates because um, because I I hadn't linked the uh, the assignment with the calendar yet. Okay. So when when the actual day comes up, I might later on this week just let you have access to the entire course. But I do need some time to finish it up then you'll see everything on the calendar populate. It'll just make it a little bit easier for you if this is how you operate best, okay? All right, good, that was a good question. Let me keep going on with them um, with the actual course. So just as a quick reminder, you have this tab up here to get to your courses. You can go back to your name. There's all sorts of different ways to get there, okay? So the more you play around with it, the easier it'll get to, to find where to, whatever it is that you need to, to get to. All right. Okay, once you get back to the course, um, we talked about where to find everything. It's going to be under announcements. What you don't, what you won't see on your screen are the different weekly tabs. If you can type in now into the chat room, if you want me to create the tabs for each week, it, it'll break it down into all the assignments for that week. Sometimes it's a little bit easier to work that way, um, then I will be happy to do that. I just need to finish fixing how you turn in the assignments. Okay, so what I did here was I created a week one tab. You won't see it on your screen, but if you want it, just let me know. And once I click on it, it'll bring up all the assignments for week one. Okay, here's the first day, which you've seen today. Day two will show up late tonight or early tomorrow and the same thing for day three, okay? Um, what, what I wanna cover right now is um, how you turn in your assignments. So the discussion forums are, are, um, those are, those are all right here under discussions. That you can get to for the entire course. But as far as the other, um, the other assignments, I'm gonna have to go back. I'm still trying to fix this for, um, for the rest of the week. It's all under announcements. Those have been fixed. When it's time to turn in your written assignments for the new business road test, as well as the journal, okay, what I've done is created different links so that they show up under something called uh, my grades. Okay, so tomorrow when you have to turn in the, um, the answers for the new business road test, they're at the end of chapter six. If you click on this button that says assignment one. Okay, when you click on it, it's gonna bring you to this page and this is where you're actually gonna turn in your assignment, all right? You'll see it tomorrow. Um, I might actually release it to you all tonight just to see if it works. And there's two different ways to do this. If you want to, you can click on write submission and then it's gonna bring up this text box and then you can just start typing in your answers, okay? The other way to do it is there's no right or wrong. It really depends on if you want to save the feedback that I give you, then you can upload a file, either a PDF or Microsoft Word document, and then just attach it, okay? Um, for the ones who want the feedback and you wanna keep it as, a, as an actual file, this is the easiest way for me to actually put comments, resources, and everything else that you need, okay? So that all depends on how you want it. Um, and then this feature here, this is uh, this is more for, well, you can you can add your comments too. If you're resubmitting an assignment or making some corrections or you're turning it in late, this is where you can type in your comments here. 
Um, and I will actually, once you turn it in and I get it back to you, I will type in comments there as well. So when you're done, you can either save your draft, you could submit it, or you can just cancel it all together, depending on whether or not you're, you're done with it, all right? Now, these points that are assigned to each of the different assignments, they're, they're all pass-fail. Whatever you turn in, you will get full credit for. I just need to know if you're gonna be turning stuff in late so I know to look for it, okay? Um, this is not an academic course. This is more of experiential learning. We want to help you make the most of this. So uh, just turn in whatever you can. And even if you're running late and you will get credit for everything, full credit, all right? I hope this makes sense. So just let me know if you have any questions about that. All right, so let's go back to, um, I'm, I'm just gonna stick with the announcements because that's what you're gonna be seeing on your screen. And that's where you're gonna see all of the daily assignments show up, okay? Okay, so we've talked about the discussion boards. Then we've also talked about how to submit your, um, your written assignments. The other type of assignment that is due are the journals, okay? For the first journal tomorrow, you'll be watching a video on YouTube. So um, that, that link I've sent out to you and you'll get it again tomorrow. But to actually, actually write into your journal, just click on the hyperlink and then it's gonna bring up the journal, the journal entry. And all you really need to do is click on create a journal entry and then type in your thoughts there. Okay. All right, so again, a title and then the text box and then just type whatever, type in um, your answer here. And with all of the assignments, there is no right or wrong answer, especially for the journals and for the, um, the answers to uh, the Mullins, the new business road test. And then when you're done with that, you can either save it as a draft or, or post it, all right? Okay, this is just to get you thinking about your concept or your venture and how you're going to get to the next step. That's the purpose of all of this. So those are the three types of assignments. Again, if you look to your left, is, this is the easiest way to the discussion forums. And then to get to each of the daily assignments, go to the announcements. And that's how you'll be able to see what's due and to be able to turn it in, all right? Are there any questions about this so far? Remember, you will have access to this replay video at the same link that um, you're watching it, you're watching it out right, right now, okay? Okay, I do wanna talk about the business owner profile. Last, last summer when we, we did this, everybody forgot about it until two days before it was due. So I'm gonna keep reminding you because you, there's so much information that you're taking in right now. It's really easy to forget about this. And this, this business owner profile, let me see if I, if I remember to pull it up. It looks like this, okay? This is a workbook. It's not really a business plan, although it does ask many of the same questions that you would find on a business, business plan. But what you can do is take all of your homework assignments and just start copying and pasting them into your business owner profile. Um, this one, the difference between this and a, an actual business plan is that this one is more geared towards whatever your personal needs are to be able to start your business, especially if you have some form of, um, and I don't really want to call it a disability, but something that impairs your ability to do something. This is where you're going to identify it and write out how you're going to resolve that problem. Okay. All right. This gives you a high level overview of what you're doing, but it also helps you to, to brainstorm ways that you can work around it so that you can launch your business. So that's the difference between this and an actual business plan. Um, this helps you to just really just, um, just brainstorm what, you, what you're trying to accomplish for your venture and then get it all on paper. This you'll turn in at the end of the course, but it doesn't come to me. You're going to email it to the, there's a, there's a, a link somewhere down here. It goes, it goes back to EBV, and I want to say it's down at the bottom, the last page of this. But that's um, the this. You, if you fill it out as we go along through all of the different homework assignments over the next three weeks, by the time we get to the last week, it'll be done. You won't be um, scrambling to put this together. All right. So those are there's three types of homework assignments, and then try and just put it all in here before by the last week, so that you're not feeling like you're falling behind. Okay. All right. So 
that's, yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, this is what I sent you earlier. This was a problem last year. Everybody, you know, once everyone knew they had to get this in, nobody knew how to actually fill it out without having to, to print it all out and type it up. So this is how you actually fill in a PDF. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the actual business owner profile. Um, the, whatever version of, uh, of Adobe Acrobat you're using, if you click on this comment feature and you just click on it, it's going to give you all the review features here. This part is free. I don't recommend using the edit PDF because then they're going to want you to buy the software. Don't do that. Just click on the comments and then you'll actually be able to type things in and fill out this, um, this business owner profile. Okay. At that point, it's just copying and paste, pasting. So click on T for text comment. Okay. This is moving slow. And then once you click on the PDF, you can copy and paste everything that you've written and all your assignments throughout the next three weeks. And then this will be done. All right. So this is how you do it. Okay. Okay. So there's a question on the chat room and it asks about uh, uploading a picture to Blackboard. Yes. All you, you do need to accept their, their terms of service. And then once you do that, um, then your picture will be able to be uploaded. Okay, if that everybody's required to do that. I think even when you create a website, your own website with a blog, you'll be asking your end users to do the same thing. Okay, all right, good, good, good question. All right, um, let me see if we've uh, covered everything. Let me go back to the agenda really quick. Here it is. Okay. All right, we've talked about the syllabus, we've talked about Mullins. When you are doing, when you are looking at the page numbers, especially for the new business road tests and for also, um, oh, the nuts and bolts guide, just be aware that the page numbers are down at the bottom. So use these page numbers down here and not up here because the syllabus is updated for this. Okay. And by the syllabus, I'm talking about this one, the one that was sent out to you. All right. And actually, if we go to the very last three pages, all of the page numbers are written here. The key thing to remember about the, um, the new business road test is that just go is, is that the questions are always at the end of the chapter. Let me see if this is bookmarked. Okay. So here, if you go to go to chapter six, okay, because this is due tomorrow, there's no right or wrong answer. Just write whatever comes to your head very quickly, okay, because this is really about your entrepreneurial aspirations, okay. The questions are all at the end of the chapter, so it's um, what was it? it was page 160, 169. I, I just want to show it to you really quick because everybody always asks about this. But did you see this gray box? These are the ones that you need to answer. And this won't take you long because this talks about this talks about you, what your goals are for your business. Now, right here talks about the new business road test app. Okay, it's at the bottom of page 169. You don't need it. Okay. Um, you don't need this app to be able to fill in the questions. All you need to do is just copy and paste all of these questions, put it into a Microsoft Word document, and then you can type your answers in really quickly. Okay. All right. So there is another question about the terms of service. It didn't accept your email and password. Huh. Okay, Matt, I'm going to have to look at that later. Usually, you know what? I wonder if you can just click and not and um, not have to do anything with that. Okay. Oh, okay. Good. So ho hopefully it worked. All right. You all let me know. Let me know if um, the technology works for Blackboard. It didn't work for the last class. It lost some of the profiles and like for the last week or so, we couldn't even see anyone's profiles. But hopefully it won't do that for you guys. All right. So anyway, that was um, that's something I wanted to point out about the the page numbers for the new business road test, and I think it's the same thing for the um, nuts and bolts guide because at the beginning of that workbook there are Roman numerals and the numbers get changed um, when you start using a PDF. Okay. Good.
All right, good. So it worked for Matt. So it should work for all of you. Let me go back so we can stay on track and I can answer everybody's questions. All right, when, um, when you are in Blackboard and you're creating your threads, you should be able to edit or delete your posts, okay? All right, so if you, if you share anything that you shouldn't have shared, and that's fine, that happens, go ahead and go back and change your posts, or if it won't let you, let me know, and I can delete your posts or I can edit it. I've, I've done that before for students. Um, sometimes they shared a little too much information, and um, basically her business partner got a little upset. So anyway, I can fix things for you. All right. Oh, this, and we've already talked about references to Moodle. Um, okay, we've covered all of this. Just remember that when you are using Blackboard that Chrome and Firefox work best, all right? Okay, and then the last few things that I wanna talk about are the assignments. For the discussion forums, if you can reply to at least two of your classmates' posts in each of the different forums, except for the I made it forum, because that one, if you can reply to as many as you can, that'll be really helpful since you're gonna be working with each other. You're gonna meet each other soon in the next three weeks and it's gonna go by really fast. So um, just do your best to keep up with the assignments and let me know if you need any special accommodations, okay? All right, so we've talked about almost everything. We're still a little early. Are there any questions so far about Blackboard, any of the assignments or anything for phase one? Okay, I think as we go along, um, this will just be a little bit easier to navigate through the classroom and then you can let me know if you have any questions or concerns or want anything changed. Okay, so now that we're back, we're back on the home page for Blackboard. Did you notice how there's a little red button here with the number one? So if you go to where your name is at the top, I know that there's a little bit of a lag. So I'm gonna wait until I can see it on, um, on YouTube. Okay, so now if you go to where your name is at, this is where you can see if there are any new notifications. So there's a number one by my name and it's in red. So if I, if I just click on this, and then there's a little clock and it'll show you the number of new notifications. Those are the updates. So you just click on that and it'll tell you whether there's new content or new, um, new posts. Okay, so somebody posted in the I made it forum and so you can open it from there. There's all sorts of ways to, to navigate this classroom, but I wanted to point that out. By the end of the week, there'll be a lot of discussions. So this is one way to get to them. All right, okay, good. Everybody's posting to this. Super. All right, great. Um, one of the questions are how many students are enrolled? When I counted on my Excel spreadsheet, there were 33 of you. So this is actually a big class. Um, sometimes, I'm trying to think. I think on average, there have been 25 to 30 students. And then sometimes people can't make it, things happen. Uh, but for this class, that would be great if all 33 of you can, can make it. Let me see, I stopped sharing my screen. Let me see if, uh, yeah, I can see myself now. Does anyone have any questions about anything we've covered so far? Okay, next week we're gonna have office hours um, on Monday and the following Monday. And that is a chance for you to ask me any questions about the homework assignments or anything else about um, what we're studying in during phase one. Deanna will try and make it next week. So if she, what she normally does is she has her own webinar once phase one ends, and then she'll talk more about what you need to do to prepare for the actual residency, okay? And that's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay. What other questions do you all have? Are you all just trying to take this in? I know there's a lot of information, especially on the first day and the first week. Um, Chad, that, that password should be working. Did you copy and paste it? It could also be your email. And what you can also try doing is clearing your browsing history.
All right. What else can I answer for everyone? Does anyone want the link to Google Hangouts? I'm going to I'm going to put it in in case somebody wants to ask questions live. The only thing about this is that um, everyone will get to see you, but if you don't have any issues with that, great. I would love the company. Yes, if you're going to be late with any of the uh, assignments, 24 hours, even less is fine. Sometimes stuff happens that you have no control over. Just keep me posted. I just need to know that you're still still in the class. You plan to participate. Otherwise, um, they'll they will get to you and uh, you know ask why you haven't logged in or anything. I will be uh, usually by the end of the second week, I'll be touching base with you if you're getting behind, so I can tell you what assignments you need to turn in. All right, so I have posted the link to the Google Hangout, so you all can join me if anybody wants to. Okay, if you do travel, I know a lot of you work full time. You're always on the road. Um, I don't have any problems with you all turning stuff in late or over the weekend. If you need the weekends to catch up, please, please do so. Okay, we're all working about what 60, 80 hours a week, <laughs> just to launch, you know, either launch your business or to work your business while you're paying your bills with your your real job, and that's fine. Okay, good. All right. Oh, Camille. Okay, just keep me posted. The discussion forums are the easiest to get done. Okay, the, the homework assignment should not take that long, especially depending on where you're at with your venture. If it's a new concept, just just think think it through, do the best you can, and just put it on paper. When you get to the boot camp, you're going to get even more intensive instruction. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and tell you now. While you're there at the boot camp, you are going to pitch your ventures. Those resources should be somewhere on Blackboard. I can't even remember which one. But if you download the template for PowerPoint, you can use your homework assignments to start filling in your slides. Okay, it's different when it's your own venture because now you face that risk of rejection, which you know is normal, and don't worry about it because you're just going to keep adapting and overcoming and figuring out what problem you're solving for your customers, and that's how you create a sustainable, successful venture. Okay, these are great comments. Um, keep them coming. We have about 13 minutes. Just let me know what it is that I can answer for you. All right. Okay, and if, um, and if you can, if you feel com comfortable, go ahead and share your ventures in the chat room. It will take me all three weeks to get to know you. Um, the more detail that you put into your, your assignments, the more feedback I can give you. And it's just gonna take me all three weeks to figure out what it is that you're doing and to really get to know each and every one of you, okay? All right, good. All right, what else can I answer for you? We have, we still have 13 minutes. Okay, good job. Um, okay, so next week when we have office hours, it's going to start off on YouTube. We'll spend about 45 minutes on YouTube. I'm going to send you some slides. I'm going to go over some of the concepts that you've learned just to provide clarification. And then we're going to end the live stream. And you have that link to my Zoom, um, basically my Zoom room. It's the same one every single time. So if you click on it, sometime during the week just to make sure it works we'll be able to see each other face to face it's not recorded and yeah. a lot of people you um, tend to participate for that reason hi matt thank you for joining me <laughs> okay good nice to see everybody it's nice to see everyone like in person before you actually get to the the residency and i won't be there just so you know okay What kind of questions can I answer for everyone? What are you looking forward to the most when you get to EDB? Or what are you looking to get out of the online course at least before you get there? Anybody? What's going on? 
Matt, what? Okay. All right, good. I was gonna Trying. Okay. I don't think it's working. For, for, oh, the Hangouts? It's working. I We see you and we hear you. Oh, you There's, can hear me. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, okay. perfect. Hi, Camille. All right, what I'm going to do is, um, does anyone have any questions for those of you who are in the chat room? I'm going to go ahead and mute everybody. Come on. Let me, um, it's been a while. Okay, Camille. All right. What are your questions? If okay, if you all want to talk to me either over the phone or on Zoom anytime throughout the course, just if you can email, email me ahead of time and we will set up a time to talk. Okay. Um, I don't have a set schedule during the summer and I'm trying to uh, coordinate other programs for for my students. So just if you just email me, we'll set up a time to talk. Tomorrow I will be traveling all day. So I will be going through the discussion forums and and giving you credit for all of your your posts um, throughout later throughout the week. Okay. I hope that makes sense. Yes. And it is very helpful for me to be able to talk to you either on the phone or, or face to face via Zoom so that we can work out your business concept. A lot of what I am doing through this course is what a very good business counselor will do for you through the SBDC, SBA, or whatever resource is available to you in your area. Okay. All right. I am in Central Standard Time Zone. Well, not okay. today. I'm in Pacific Time today. Tomorrow. I'll be back in um, I'll be back in Oklahoma. So just just FYI, I'm not an employee of um, IBMF. I'm just one of their their facilitators for the online course. So for the fastest response, I won't be able to answer any questions about phase two, the logistics of phase one, like your books, login, any of that. Uh, but I can answer questions about the course, the course content, and how all of this relates to your assignment. Okay, I hope this makes sense. Sometimes they'll bring their students back on board as instructors. And I've been teaching for a long time and I've been teaching for IBMF for five years. So um, I've, I've, I've worked with a lot of entrepreneurs and seen a lot of very similar business concepts, all right? So I can refer you to students who are doing something similar now so you can get an idea of, of how you wanna keep moving forward with your venture. Okay, good, great, great question. Okay. Okay. Camille, tell me about your business really quick. Um, uh, my business partner, uh, Jen Fox, is also enrolled in um, this uh, course. So we're enrolled together. And uh, it's a retrieval service for people who have a storage unit, but not the time to get things in and out of their storage unit. Oh, very um, nice. We plan to expand into other areas, for instance, helping them get an inventory of what they have, uh, as well as, you know, there's the whole downsizing and decluttering options that um, people are looking at for their lives. But in and out of the Fairfax, Virginia area, that's, you know, that's a huge transient area. And so being able to work their job um, however many days or hours a week it takes but still have access to the kayak to go kayaking on the weekend or to be able to have help decluttering at the same time that's the service we're trying to offer oh very nice very good thank All you right. I'm really interested in hearing more about your your competition in that area but I think I can see you meeting the needs of several different niches so we can talk about that more as we uh, get into that get into those assignments good we're very excited about it and that's why i'm moving across country i'm currently in central uh, standard time zone and i'll be in eastern standard time zone later on this week as soon as i can close up the house and get out there <laughs> well safe travels to you as well thank you <laughs> very good Matt, you have the recreational, right? The sports. Yeah. Can Can you hear me? I'm sorry. I'm not sure. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm looking at uh, a a youth a youth athletic training facility or a training academy for youth athletes. Yes. 
Okay, good. One of your classmates is doing something similar, but for a different market segment. I, I saw that, yes. It's really good for you to collaborate. Um, I'm gonna end up giving you some of the same feedback, uh, but I see a lot of potential for both of your ventures. That's great. Sure, yeah, uh, sure, great. Um, there's the question in the chat room. Is there a database of current and past EBV grads for vet networking possibilities? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. I don't have access <laughs> to that, but Deanna can help you with that. Um, Correct. Hopefully when she joins us next week. Um, Tad, I, I, I did go through some of the ventures already. And I'll, when I remember who it is that does something similar to you, I'm going to Give you links to that person's website and if i know them personally i'm just going to do an email introduction okay sure all right good these are great <laughs> questions um five minutes i don't want to keep anyone over time what other questions do you all have this is great what ivmf has started doing is they've been having uh, alumni networking events throughout the country so that's a way to meet people they on linkedin and facebook i think on linkedin though they have the groups and that's how you can meet other grads as well um oh you know sandra i sandra i do have a quite i do have a question yeah. so with the uh with the populated uh, the powerpoint version basically of the business plan that you that you showed earlier that kind of popped up that you can plug and play and cut and paste into um so if i've got about roughly 75 percent of a business plan put together now so is that I'm, I'm assuming that's something i can pro i can probably just cut and paste out of my own that i've been doing and, and pop in there absolutely yes okay keep okay. it really simple the slides themselves should not be busy just short bullet points what they really want to see is your ability to communicate are sure you, okay are you an excellent communicator because that that's a good indication of are you going to be a great leader for your organization? Yeah. And as the only as the only Coast Guard guy, I have no choice. I'm a man alone now. <laughs> okay, you are our Coastie. I knew I read that somewhere. Okay, good. Excellent. Yes. Yeah, so I know some of you already have been working on um, business plans, feasibility analysis. Those of you who are just in the VWISE class, you can use that to copy and paste not only into the the PowerPoint template template, but also into the business owner profile. Uh, just update everything from what you've already done as you go through the research process for this class, because everything everything's going to be not, not new, but it's going to be updated, okay? You're going to learn, learn or gain access to more tools, which is really, really going to help. You. Okay, Great. good. All right. Always prepared. Very good, Tad. And by the way, I teach Latin, so if you keep putting stuff in there like that, I'm going to translate it for you. Super. Good job. What other what other questions can I answer for everybody? Good. It's nice to meet you both online, face to face. I do much better in a classroom than on in an online format, but we make it work. Right. Like likewise. I did <laughs> okay. better in an online and face to face uh Good. format myself so thank you yeah so make sure that your zoom link is working for next week because you're going to see everybody and it's a nice way to connect before you even get to the course if i think that um you have some overlapping synergy with any of your classmates i'm just gonna reach out and email you both at the same time all right okay there have been some lifelong friendships that have come out of these courses um i'm hoping that you all make some of these really good friends as well Okay, I still see them all hanging out together because everybody posts everything to Facebook and you're just joining a bigger uh, version of your military family, okay? Just now everybody has their own business uniform. It's, it's great, it's, it's a great community. All right, two more minutes. Anyone, anything else? Okay, so just be patient. Let me know what improvements you want seen in the Blackboard classroom. I like having the grade version because you can see exactly what you need to finish and it's easier for me to be able to keep everybody posted on, okay, you need to turn this in, all right. Um, and later, as I've had a chance to, to finish up all the things, some of the things in the classroom, I might open up the uh, availability earlier. <laughs> okay. Where are, where are all our 
army people here. Okay, good, Camille, and then Air Force. Air Force, Navy, and Marines. Do we have anybody? Maybe not, maybe not on this live stream. We'll get to know you um, on the next one. All right, good. If no one has any more questions, just please feel free to email me. Uh, tomorrow I will be traveling all day, so I won't be able to get back to you until um, Wednesday or Thursday, all right? And then we'll we'll really get this rolling. Go Navy, go Marine Corps. All right, good, good. Great to see everybody. I'm so happy to be with my with my peers <laughs> and I'm looking forward to working with all of you, all right? Have a great week. Please reach out to me. You have my cell phone, you have my email. Now we have Zoom and I will be working with you all very closely over the next three weeks. You will have a great EBV. All right, take care everybody and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.